Hey what's up guys, Totally Dubbed here and today I'm going to show you how to flash over the latest stock firmware the stock firmware for the i9000 Samsung Galaxy S i9000 today is the 20th of February 2012 and um, what I actually did is I used my old guide, my JPU um, to uh, JPY um, into Kai's to see what uh, it would give me and it gave me XXJVT to uh, to flash. Then I flashed over JVO and it still came up with JVT. So JVT is the latest firmware uh, which can be upgraded via Kai's. This phone has been upgraded via Kai's as you should do uh, well as you should do um, as you would normally do if you weren't rooting or anything. So I'm just going to show you show you this this is stock official firmware XXJVT for the PDA, XXJVT for the phone, XAJVT for the CSC. As you can see, September 29th is when it was built, 2012, uh, 2011, sorry. So that's the official firmware that Kai's give you and the most up to date and possibly one of the last official firmwares you'll get on your Samsung Galaxy S i9000. So I've got Kai's open. And I'm going to connect it in and it's going to connect via Kai's. This is to show you um, that Kai's picks it up. It does take a little bit of time usually connecting. However, if the firmware is not recognized, it, will, um, it, will, it won't connect, uh, simply put. So as you can see, it's just frozen and it's just going to, there you go. Right, so there you can see JVT for all three with an XEU CSC. Now obviously that would depend on your region. So where do you get stock firmware? So first of all as you can see I'm on JVT but I'm going to show you how to flash over to JVT via Odin. So there's two ways you either flash JVO or you flash over JVT straight off JVT. What I'm going to go is straight off to go on JVT so that it's one step to go to stock. You don't have to go on one and then upgrade via Kai's again or whatever. So I'm going to try and go straight to JVT. Now you have to go to Sam Mobile. It's a site uh, which allows you to um, download uh, firmware. You'll have to register so do not forget to register an account so that you get access to uh, downloading files. So first of all uh, first and foremost, what you want to do is get Flash Programs. On Flash Programs, you want to go Smartphones over here, Android, Galaxy i9000, and Download. You hit that, this will open, and it's going to be Flash Programs Samsung i9000 plus PITS.RAR. So once you um, get that, you'll see on your desktop, let me just minimize this as well, on your desktop you'll get this RAR file. Now if I open it up, obviously well, I'm going to zzip it, extract files, and I'm going to extract files to the desktop. Now as soon as I do that, it's going to ask me for a password. The password for that is, on if you click on firmware on Sam Mobile, it's over here, samfirmware.com. So you're going to copy this, paste it over here. So you can see samfirmware.com, I'll just zoom in so you can see. I press OK, it's going to successfully extract. So I'm going to zoom out again. And now, as you can see on my desktop, I've got Flash Programs, the actual file. So we can actually get rid of that completely. So when I open this, there's another folder inside. And here you've got three versions of Odin. 1.0, 1 1.3 and 1.82. And you've got three different PIT file sizes. Usually we use a 512 PIT and I would suggest using V182 on Odin. So I'll get to that in a second. So that's that. Next, we want to download the latest um, stock firmware. Now to do that, again, I click firmware, then I click firmware here again, smartphone, Android, GTI9000, which is there, and I'm in Europe, so I click Europe. And here you go, you're going to get loads of, C um, loads of uh, files. Now, Control F on your keyboard to look for JVT. It's the easiest way. As you can see, look, I'm on Chrome, JVT. Now here you're going to come up with four, actually five files, um, 
So this first one over here is from Hungary, Telenor, so I don't want that. The second one is from Hungary, T-Mobile, again, I don't want that. JVT Open Europe, but wasn't in Kais, apparently. And we've got another one over here, Europe, but was in Kais. And then down here, we've got another JVT, which is United Kingdom Carphone Warehouse. Again, I'm not from Carphone Warehouse, so I, I just want the stock one. Now, if you look carefully, you'll see that these two, I mean, you'd probably be tempted to download this one. If you try and download this one, which well, I'll go and do this now, the file is zero megabytes. Zero megabytes, as you can see. So it's completely pointless getting that one. Do not get that one. And you can see here you've got an Open Europe one. Now, if I click on this one, it'll be something like 200 meg. Yeah, 256. 0.2 meg is the one I want. So go ahead and download that via a regular download. I've already downloaded it, it's already on my desktop. So that's the files you need. So be sure to get that one, the one I just said, the Open Europe one, XAJVT, XXJVT over there, the CSE, right. So now you've got two of the files. You've got your flash programs and you've got your uh, JVT file. What you want to do is extract this, extract this folder. So I'm just, there we go. Extract this folder and put it on your desktop. Right, as you can see, it does take a while. It does lag your PC quite a bit. But once it's done, you'll get extract files. So now we can get rid of that one as well. So now you've got two files over here. Two folders, sorry. So you can see you've got the 512PIT over there. You've got code, CSC, modem, and uh, another multi-CSC. Anyway, so that's that. So now what we're going to do is go open up the flashing programs and run as administrator if you're on Windows 7 or Windows Vista and 1.82 is the one I'm going to use. Now, the phone is connected at the moment, but uh, we're going to disconnect that in a while. But uh, first of all, I'll set up, set up what I have to do over here. My PIT file, go on the desktop, go into my folder and find the 512 PIT. Next, you've got the PDA, and the PDA is going to be the code. Then you've got your phone, which is going to be the modem, and then you've got the CSC, which, which I'm going to choose multi OXA JVT, so a multi CSC, home multi. Right. So now we've got Odin set up, which is great. And that's the first thing you have to do before you actually connect your phone. So now for my phone, as you can see, I'm going to quit Samsung Kai's, disconnect it, and then switch it off. If you're on a custom ROM, you can go straight into uh, download mode. Now you see Samsung Kai's is over, over here. We want to close Samsung Kai's. Make sure it's not running in your desktop, um, in your task, task bar, or your toolbar, sorry, down there. And we're just waiting for our phone to switch off. Once your phone is vibrated, go down on the volume, home, and power, all in one go. Hold it down until you see this icon. Connect your phone in, and your, phone, your computer should recognize it. As you can see, the yellow thing popped up. So now once that's done, what we're going to do is hit start. This will take a while, and we'll have to wait. But once this is done, I'll get back to you guys. Right, so as you can see, um, Odin is just finished, and uh, I'm going to zoom out and go onto my phone. And what we're going to do is unplug the phone, and you can close Odin straight away. In fact, I'm going to open Samsung Kai's up in the meantime. Right, so I'm going to go English United Kingdom. This doesn't really matter. There we go. Six JVT, cool. And there you go, as you can see, uh, we're on PDA XXJVT, phone XXJVT, CSC XAJVT. And this is exactly what um, Samsung had when they gave it to us. Uh, well, when you officially upgrade via Kai. So, what we're going to do, the ultimate test, I guess, is connect it up. and see if Samsung Kai's can pick it up as well. 
right? So it does take a, a little bit of time, so there you go. But as you can see, we're on official stock firmware. Samsung Kai's picks it up, so you're happy days. As you can see, your PDA, your phone, and your CSC all match up to what the current firmware version is, and what the latest firmware version is, i.e. we're up to date and we're on the latest firmware. So now you're on the latest firmware, which means that you can send back your phone for warranty purposes or whatnot. Just before you do, remember your internal SD card was not touched. Obviously if you have an external SD card you take that out. But your internal SD card isn't touched. Now if you look at my internal SD card you'll see loads of random stuff um, and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is wipe the internal SD card to do this. Very very easy. That's my external and this is my internal. Internal is known as USB storage. It used to be internal storage or internal SD card, but now it's USB storage, I guess, to avoid confusion. We're going to format USB storage. Now you can see I'm in my files, and my internal SD card is completely wiped. As you can see, I've only got DCIM, which is my pictures, and lost.dir. My external SD card was not touched. As you can see, I've got all my apps, uh, all my files and whatever still in there. Um, so external SD wasn't touched. So you can turn off your phone or unmount your external SD card, take it out, take out your SIM and send it back for warranty or whatever you need it for. If you're selling it on eBay or whatever. Obviously, the phone is not going to be rooted either. Um, let's see how I can check for you. All right, there we go. After I signed into the market and got GPS uh, aids, you can see checking root access failed so I cannot get root access um, so there's no root access there so I have no root um, there we go so I have no it's unrooted and obviously you can tell if there's no super user in there either so you're unrooted you're on stock firmware you've cleaned your internal SD card everything is in theory absolutely official there's nothing that Samsa could tell or any person could tell even if you gave me this phone I wouldn't even know myself if it was flashed or not so I hope this helps you um, getting back to stock firmware um, please do rate comment subscribe to the video and uh, subscribe to my channel sorry <laughs> and uh, yeah take care totally dubbed out bye bye